The FE stands for Fan Edition, meaning Samsung have included popular features on the buds which the fans like. So let's see if that is the case. The exterior of the case has a gloss finish. And when you open up the case, the inside and the buds have a matte finish. The buds do have an ingress protection rating, which can handle sweat, slimy conditions, but they cannot handle rain, shower, or be immersed in water. So you have been warned. Mine are still going strong with many months of use and different weather conditions, although never in the rain. When the buds were released, they retailed at $100. But up until the publication of this video, you can pick up the buds for around $75 to $80 from retailers like Amazon when they have flash sales. If you pair the earbuds to two different Samsung devices and you use them interchangeably, I like how the buds can automatically switch from one device to another without having to manually make the switch. I cannot tell you how useful this is. You also get software updates with the Buds FE, although I'm not sure how long for, but I'd rather have some software updates than none at all. Fully charged, the Buds will give you 6 hours of continuous playtime plus 21 hours with the case. And that is with the active noise cancellation turned on. So they should easily last you on a flight from London to Sydney, Australia, which is around 23 hours and some 10,500 miles in terms of distance. And the best part is you will still have some juice left over once you get there. That's not bad. The active noise cancellation feature does work as described. And for it to work, it is imperative that you put both earbuds in your ears. And the other thing to note with the active noise cancellation is that it does consume more battery life. You can get up to 30 hours in total with the active noise cancellation turned off. The buds come in white and black. Regardless which color you choose, they will come in a white case, which no doubt saves on costs. In terms of the audio options, you do have a number of choices. So if you go into earbud settings, and right at the top there, select the equalizer. And as you can see, you've got a few different options available to you. Sound quality is crisp, clear and sharp. And when it comes to making and receiving phone calls, those on the other end have never complained. And in terms of comfort, you will not suffer any fatigue, even after wearing them for several hours. So when it comes to other Android devices besides Samsung, how do these Buds FE perform? Well, there's only one way to put that to the test. So here, I've got a Chinese phone. This one is the Xiaomi Redmi K70 Pro. And what I did was downloaded the Samsung wearable app. And as you can see, look at that. So that's the Galaxy Buds FE. And just to prove that again, look at that it's connected. And you can see here from the app, we've got all the features that you will have on the Samsung Galaxy devices. So look at this active noise cancellation with your touch controls. Look at that. Your earbud settings. So I think the answer there is that the Buds FE work very well on other Android devices. The Buds will work on both iOS and Android devices, but with caution. On Samsung Galaxy devices, the Buds work with the wearable app. However, the wearable app does not work on iPhones, although you can still use the Buds on iPhones, but with limited features. Hope that makes sense. The longest I've had the earbuds on is just under four hours and I had no issues with the battery whatsoever. Each time I pair the earbuds to a device and I use it for when I'm watching content like YouTube, I can honestly tell you I have not experienced any latency issues whatsoever. One issue I did have was pairing the buds to my Samsung phone for the first time, which frankly drove me insane. To resolve this, I opened the case with the earbuds in and pressed one of them down for three seconds and I was connected. 
Thereafter, the buds automatically connected to my phone. Another favorite feature of mine with these buds is the ambient sound. And for it to work, it's important that you put both earbuds in your ears. One of the great things with the ambient sound is that no matter what you're listening to, when you enable this feature, it seems to amplify whatever is outside so you can still hear what's going on, which is really good. Did you know that we have reached 800 subscribers? It was 835 at the last count. And with your help, let's get this channel to 1000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do consider giving the subscribe button below a gentle nudge. And it is free to do. With the wearable app, you can see the battery percentage for both the earbuds and the case, so you are not caught out. It's nice to see that Samsung have brought back this particular wingtip for a more and secure fit. And also, they have flattened this section here. What that means is that you can use the touch controls on the Buds FE quite easily because of this flat surface here making for an assured response every time you use the touch controls if for whatever reason you are not happy with the shape of these wingtips you can always replace them with the spare ones that came with the earbuds and once you do you will have a much smoother wingtip all the way around i really like how the buds will read aloud your notifications when you receive a message for all or specific apps. You can go one step further and have the full content read out to you, which is pretty cool, as it says you've taken out your phone, but do make sure you go in the settings menu and make the change. Right out of the box, by default, you'll always see the readout summary option is automatically selected. If you want the full message read out to you, you select the bottom one here. Again, pretty useful. Now, one thing I will say is having used this ooh, Galaxy Buzz FE for a good, what, good six months now, in principle, it works as described. Now, take for example, say WhatsApp, which I have quite a lot. One thing I have noticed with it is sometimes, even though you select the second option here, it doesn't always read out the messages to you as they come in. Sometimes it will stack them up. So rather than read out the message, sometimes it will just, it, it will say something like, uh, WhatsApp, what's oh, three, three chats or two chats from uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp. So again, just keep that in mind. Have you ever been in that position where you've misplaced your earbuds and you spend an eternity looking for them? There's a really cool feature on these buds, which will help you find them very easily. In the event that you do misplace your earbuds, then rather than spending an eternity looking for them, if you turn on this Find My Earbuds feature, okay, then the next thing to do is to play sound. Now I want to conduct the same test, but this time with just one of the earbuds in the case and the other one out. Because to me, that would probably be a bit more realistic. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if it sounds. So tap on start. Then obviously I'll play sound, see what happens. Now, whilst we're here, just want to try something very quickly. So what happens if I just close the case? Okay. You do not get any wireless charging or 360 degree audio with the earbuds, which are by no means deal breakers. If you find that you are in a noisy location or you're going to be on a long call, one recommended feature here is this one here, use ambient sound during calls. And as it states there, you can basically hear your own voice without having to raise your voice. And again, just make sure you enable 
this feature and that should help somewhat. One thing I did do and that is test the range of the buds. So to do this what I did was put the earbuds on, connected it to music and I put the device right by my tripod that I was filming on and I would walk off into the distance and see when and where the sound will start to cut out. This took me about good 15 to 20 tests and I can tell you what I found was sometimes the buds would work up to 30 yards, 40 yards, 50 yards and even up to 70 yards before they cut out. So just to conclude I cannot give you an optimum range where the buds will cut out but at least now you got an idea of the range of the buds. So in your Galaxy wearable app you select the touch controls here Make sure you enable the relevant controls. Again, really simple, but no issues using them at all. Once we're here, let's just touch and touch and hold here. So again, the top part represents the left, and the bottom part the right. So it's just a quick demonstration if I select that one here. So look, you've got some options there. So it says OK. I select Bixby, then this one comes on the right. If I select Spotify, so again, you can switch the noise controls. Any one that's slightly different is the volume down. So watch what happens when I select volume down here. So it will automatically set the other one as volume up. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. My name is Shala. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another episode. Peace.